Well, I was going to do this unboxing video of this new fancy metal detector, but it looks like somebody got to it before I could. You going to unbox it for us, Luna? What you got down there? What's underneath that paper? What is it? Can you open it? you find anything? <gasps> what do you see? What do you see? What do you see down there? Keep working. You almost got it. <gasps> You're doing it. <laughs> You're really doing it, Luna. There you go. Keep working. Keep working. Yep, you can do this. Don't get frustrated. Use those claws and paws. Is it a metal detector? Luna, is it a metal detector? You keep working. We'll come check back on you in a few minutes, all right? You keep going for the unboxing. We'll see if you made any progress. Well, Luna was unsuccessful in opening up the box, but I will be successful in opening up the box. Auni is over on the couch judging and she's given us the hand. She says, don't film me. Anyway, I have ordered a, a new metal detector and I'm going to be selling my other metal detector, the Fisher F22. It's a good metal detector. Um, it's definitely a good like beginner metal detector as well. Got a lot of good hours out of it and kind of was able to learn how to use it and kind of get that whole process started as learning how to metal detect but i knew that it was time to get something a little bit better that was going to be able to find the precious gems and jewels that we're looking for because i don't think i would ever have found the ark of the covenant with the fisher f22 or solve the curse of oak island with that metal detector but this one it's a possibility so let's pull it back and let's see what we got in here we have let me spin the box around this is the Mine Lab Equinox 800 metal detector. Simultaneous multi frequency waterproof design. Uh, I can actually stick this in the water. Uh, sleek and lightweight, high speed wireless audio, eight custom search profiles, fast and accurate target ID, advanced detector settings, and a gold detecting mode. Not that I'm going to be actually searching for much gold, like gold nuggets and that kind of thing. So this is it. This is one of the the top metal detectors of 2000 and I think like 19 or something like that. And even still, I think 2020, this is people's go-to favorite. So let me take this box out of the box, open it up, and uh, see what we got. Be right back. So here we go. We took it out of the box there, and uh, you can see see some of the accessories that are available this isn't uh this isn't included some of the stuff's not included but some of the things that are available with it like you get a a bigger coil where you get some waterproof headphones those sort of things a smaller coil if you're looking in between tighter areas a little more explanation about the multi iq thing there let me flip the box around so here's some of the information on the back Nothing, nothing you can't find on the interwebs online there, but gets you kind of an idea of what the detector will look like once it's put together. So there should be some headphones in this box, and also comes with a little wireless module, so you don't have to have the headphones plugged in if you don't want. So we will see. So let's give it an open here. All right, there you go. First thing. We'll take out is the coil. You can see this one compared to the Fisher F22 is much uh, a much bigger uh, coil. This is 11 inches, I think, and uh, that will allow me to search a lot more ground faster than with the smaller. I'm pretty sure it was like a nine-inch coil on the Fisher F22, so that'll be nice. So there's the coil for the Mine Lab Equinox 800. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice little starting guide here 
So we'll read through that to get all the information that we need. I think there's another one in a different language. Yep. Uh, this looks like same thing here, like a warranty sort of sort of booklet. Looks like you got some instructions here. This is what should be in the carton, it says. So we'll just make sure that we have all of those goodies in there. And battery charging recommendations. It says use a high quality charger for your high performance detector. High quality 2A chargers, Mind Lab USB chargers, or laptop standard USB 2.0 ports. So unlike the Fisher that I have, which uh, runs off batteries, AA batteries, this one is a lithium battery that just needs to be recharged. So I think the battery life is pretty good on it, though, from what I remember. But it says don't use a mid-capacity USB charger. Using a reputable and certified USB charger rated at 1A, the USB charger will typically engage its thermal protection and safety function and automatically shut down. The detector may not charge fully. So we'll use the one, I think, that comes here in the box. But anyway, so there's that. Here is the, uh, this is the little computer part of it here. As you can see, much different than what I'm using right now, but there's a lot more options coming with this one, different things you can look for, different settings you can do. So we'll get this all put together here because everything else that's in the box is just going to be the uh, uh, the headphones, which I think this could be headphones or this could be accessories. It looks like these are, yep, these are the some cables. So there's a cable there little arm cuff there another cable there and this is the that wireless module you just clip this onto your belt buckle and then you plug the headphones in uh, here and then it reads off of the uh, this part so that's where you get your wireless Bluetooth headphones from, so that's kind of interesting. I've never used headphones detecting before, so I don't know that I'll use it. I'll have to see how it goes. And it even comes with some screen protectors, so that's kind of nice. You get some screen protectors for the uh, the computer module part of the detector. Very nice. All right, so that was in that box. So this box here must have the headphones in it. Let's see if we can open this bad boy up for you. Maybe, maybe not. It's got some strong stickers. All right, there we go. So. Let's lift this box upside down. Boink. It comes in this nice case here. That's very nice. So I am assuming when I open this up, zip, zip, zip. Put that there that we should see. And the headphones. Look at that. Bluetooth headphones. I don't think there's anything too special about these headphones. They're just Bluetooth and they have the right uh, hookup if you do want to use them wired. But there you go. They say Mind Lab on the side. So some headphones you can put on as you detect. And then it looks like there's a charging cord here in the uh, in the uh, the pouch for that. So anyway, so I'm going to get this all uh, put together. I'll show you what it looks like. And then unfortunately, it's uh, too dark right now and it was raining outside. Uh, so I'm not going to take it out uh, today as of the unboxing of this. But I'll... Uh, wait until I got some time where it's a little bit nicer weather outside and I'll take it out and I'll include a few clips of doing some hunting in this video and kind of figure out how this works. I know this is going to be a learning curve from the metal detector that I already had, but I've been watching some videos and I'll read through the instructions and we'll see all that it has to offer. But I'm excited to have this metal detector and hopefully we'll lead to some fan tastic treasure. Templars. Colonial. Oak Island. Who knows? So, I'll put it together, and I'll see you in a minute. 
All right, folks, well, here it is, Mine Lab Equinox 800 in all its glory. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things I have to learn about this machine still, so I'm going to kind of just do a couple of passes, maybe dig a few holes, but we'll keep learning the machine as time goes on and see what we can find. But I'm just going to try to get used to it right now, and if I come across anything uh, super fancy, then I will uh, come back to you, and uh, then we'll wrap up the video with any finds. All right, let's get digging. Alright, so this is going to be the first find with the Mine Lab Equinox 800. There is something in the plug. So we're going to see what it is. It's not this, that's just a rock. So, not very deep. I don't think it's going to be anything mind blowing. Oh, there you have it, folks. <clears throat> it's just some sort of screw. Some things never change. All right, well, we're going to have plenty of more digs with the Equinox 800. I have a lot of learning to do on this machine, but at least we know it can find metal. That's the important thing. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Metal.